here's a tip on syncing audio in the latest iMovie 11. So what I did is I actually imported a clip that I recorded off of my iPhone. I interviewed Miguel here. And now what I'm going to do is bring in my audio file. Uh, I just dropped it into iTunes. Make sure you label it. It just makes it a whole lot easier when you're trying to find it. The last thing you want to do is scroll through your entire iTunes library. So I named it um, Juan's Interview. So very easy to find. I can drag it over. Now I can drag it over the gray area and it's going to give me this big green box. I, I do not want this because what it's going to do, it's going to add it as a background audio. We don't want it as background audio. We actually want it as an audio track. So to do that, I'm going to drag it directly over the video clip. So I'll probably just drag it somewhere here in the beginning of the clip. Drag it over and you can see it now adds it as a track. And you can see in the latest iMovie 11, you actually have waveforms, which is fantastic because this isn't an option that you had before. And in order to get that option, you come over down here at the bottom of, my, of iMovie. You can see this here where it says show or hide audio waveforms. So I can hide them or I can see them. For syncing audio, this is a super great option. Um, makes it a whole lot easier. And plus, we can take advantage of zooming in and out of our timeline. That's going to make it a whole lot easier, too. What I like to do when I interview someone and I know I'm going to sync audio, um, one, you have to make sure they clap because you need to have that visual indicator and audio indicator of being able to sync. So I like to actually have my interviewed person sync, uh, clap in, in front of the camera so I have a visual cue. So I, know I don't only have an audio cue, here's my audio cue. You can see the big spike right here. I'll zoom in so you can see that. So here's the big spike in the video and the blue is my video and the green is my audio. So first we're going to work on the video. So here I can visually see that Miguel claps here and I can actually see that in the audio as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to stop right when he claps right there. And this is great too because what you can see on the wavelengths too, not only here on the video track and audio, but you can actually see it here that this is actually going to be the loudest point. So, you know, there's multiple ways that you can make sure that you have right at that spike of audio. So what we're going to do now is go to that spot and I'm actually going to delete everything before that. Just makes it a whole lot easier. So here we go. Hit delete. So now it's going to start right on that clap. And so now what we have to do is the same thing with the audio. So what I'm going to do is drag this clip over and start it right when he claps. So right there. And now I'm going to drag this over because we want to sync up these claps. And we have to make sure it actually aligns up. So you can actually see that I'm a little off here. That's what's great about having these options here is that you can, having the wavelengths is that you can adjust it. So that looks more aligned there. So let's play back. So Miguel, tell me a little bit about reflecting back on your college experience. And that's great because you do not hear an echo. If you hear an echo, that means you're a little off. So we know that's sync now. So that's great because I play through. So Miguel, tell me a little bit about reflecting back on your college I, I don't hear an echo, so that's that's great. You want to make sure you do not have an echo. So now I can zoom out. And now what we want to do is get rid of this track. We don't need the audio track from the video because it's actually pretty low. If I, um, I'm going to trim this down just so you can hear it. So you can see it's, you can hear that it's really low. So what we're going to do, you can either um, delete it this way. You can highlight it here now on the audio track. So that's one way of deleting your audio. Or a simple way is come over to the wheel and then go over to your audio adjustments. And so here what we're going to do is just knock out that audio from that video clip. And then I'm going to hit done here at the bottom. So what that does is it completely eliminates that audio. And so all we're left with is the very good audio here. So I'm going to stretch this out because we want to make sure it's completely throughout the entire interview. 
And um, I can even boost my audio levels here if it's a little low. You know, if I record it a little low, no worries. You just raise it up. And now here's my good audio track with my audio recorder synced. Different things. But once I got there, it wasn't that easy. Because once. So you can hear the difference from the other clip that recorded straight to my video to now my audio recorder. So here's a cool, simple way of being able to sync audio now um, in iMovie 11. So hopefully this tip is helpful. I guarantee that by using an audio recorder, you know, especially in a situation where your camera doesn't have a microphone or doesn't have, in this case, a very good microphone, you can definitely use an audio recorder to really boost that audio level. Once I got there, it wasn't that easy. Because once I graduated, I didn't have that pool of resources to, to, pull, to pull from, you know. There was really no network. So there it is. Very nice, clean audio in iMovie 11 using the sync option here.